in the previous lecture what I had discussed, that one was very much informal definition. Informal means as usual just we are defining. Uh, we don't see much mathematics there. That uh, simply we say that random variable is all about, uh, it is a function kind of thing which maps random outcomes of a random experiment to some numbers. That numbers happens to be random number. That we had discussed in the last lecture. Now here I will give formal definition of random variable. Once you say formal definition then mathematical concept is coming there. Yeah, it would be function again from sample space omega to r but in a very formal way. So that formal way we will see it here. So random variable again one the, that informal definition what we had seen. So I had already described all these. Now coming to formal definition, a random variable once we have defined then uh, in the last example we had seen a table for uh, example of tossing uh, a coin three times or three coins together. So you had seen a table and table was like this way. The final output of uh, uh, explanation of random variable was uh, there, there was a table in which uh, uh, random number appears in the first uh, uh, row and what what were num random numbers it were it were 0 1 2 and 3 okay and in the second you had already seen what was in second what was in second row it was probability of observing those numbers and what is x? x we had told that x was count, counting number of heads in three tosses of a coin. So it was number of heads, number of heads. So hash is denoting number. Whenever you see hash, it is denoting number, representation, short notation of number. Number of heads, number of counts, numbers of heads, in three tosses numbers of heads heads in three tosses you may go for four toss five toss or n toss but the, I am just taking for simplicity three tosses of a coin. Three tosses of a coin. Number of toss three. Okay. And we had already seen that in the first row the value of x which x is observing. These random numbers are coming. And in the second row what we had observed we had observed probability of observing those random number. Here I am saying random number means each number is associated with certain probability of observing those numbers. Okay, that's why these are random number. Those these are not deterministic number. So what what was the probability of observing zero? What was the probability of observing zero? Just we had computed computed in the last class now. What was the probability of observing zero? One by eight. And probability of observing one. 3 by 8. And probability of observing 2, that one was also 3 by 8. And probability of observing 3, that one was 1 by 8. So you had already seen that. So first row, you call it random number. What is second number, uh, row? What we will call second row? Second row is dealing with probability of observing those random numbers. So it is distribution of probability. So the second row will call it probability distribution. The first row, these are random numbers. We call it a random number in short. You can, this row random numbers. In short, I am writing it R dot 
and dot full form you can write in your notebook it is talking about random number what about second row it is talking about probability distribution of those random number so in short we will write it p dot d dot probability distribution so once we it is a mathematical framework of quantifying randomness once we are coming in this form so we here we are having two things one thing we call it uh, random variable and the second row we call it probability distribution so we will denote it by uh, right now call it a small p but it is a small p it is not capital p capital p was reserved for probability me measure of an event but remember that this a small p also we will re relate it with capital p how that we will see it so that one is the formal definition so informally we had mentioned that a random variable it is a map from omega to omega x omega x is a subset of real number and uh, such that it map omega x match map each outcome of random variable omega to some number in r some real number okay so that we had already this seen now second definition what is it is coming again random variable x it is a map and it is a real valued function and very a special structure that one is coming coming with fracture b this b written in uh, in little bit curly things so that it is not curly b it is fracture b we call it fracture b so this one is written in fracture b okay that one is type of various kind of b if you are willing to write bold b a small b capital b then curly b this one is fracture b okay so very specific notation so this one is we call it borel set it is very much related with uh, borel algebra so it is very much related with sigma algebra i don't confuse with that just consider this uh, borel algebra is talking about uh, open set open interval everyone might be comfortable with open interval are you com uh, comfortable with open interval so open interval where do you see open interval in real numbers and we had already seen that x random variable x is a map from where to where what is the co, co domain of uh, this map domain is omega and co domain is r a range is omega x but co domain is r simply we say that uh, like this way co -dom domain is r so if you are saying set of real numbers then you will observe various kind of open interval there in set of real numbers so if you are talking about open interval a structure then in r then you can come up with a very a special structure that we call it borel algebra it is coming like that every set can be written in term of either open interval or union of open interval or intersection of open interval or complement of open interval what is the complement of open interval complement of open interval what would be that do you know or not so complete all those set operation everyone know that but set operation we are just uh, taking with respect to what are the element open interval with respect to so uh, from the real number we are having open interval and from there we are trying to construct various kind of set using open interval so that is the things so like uh, if i am giving a number 1 then how many number you can generate from 1 one add two times you will get two one add uh, two times uh, three times and divide it by uh, two times of one what you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 divide by 1 plus 1 2 3 by 2 is what 1.4 so the like that is simply uh, through one you can construct various numbers you are generating numbers with the help of one by using what operation algebraic operation what are those addition and multiplication someone will say again uh, subtraction is an operation that, that one is a special case of addition uh, someone will say division is an uh, uh, operation that one is a special case of multiplication so you are taking a number and you are applying algebra over that algebra means doing addition and multiplication that is meaning of algebra in numbers and same algebra if you are doing in set theory what is 
what is meaning of that? That means you are applying operation like uh, uh, union and intersection <laughs> along with complement. So that kind of thing. So here you are starting with uh, open interval A B over R and with the help of that you are constructing various subset of R. So that means you are generating a Borel algebra. Collection of all those subset you are that that has been generated by open interval, we call it Borel algebra. Not don't go much in deeper way, just consider that those are coming from uh, set theoric operation over open set. Just consider like that. Okay. Later we will go for concrete definition if time permit or if you are willing to understand really in deeper way that. Okay. So in that case, what is uh, why we are saying that? So a random variable is a uh, map from omega to r in such a way inverse image, x inverse. How many of you are having any difficulty in understanding inverse image and inverse of a function? If you say inverse image, what do you mean for inverse image? Inverse image, uh, it, is it also inverse function or different? What is the difference between inverse image and uh, inverse function? Do you know there is a difference between these two? Inverse function, uh, that one is uh, when it is bijective in nature, then you will able to define inverse function. But when you are saying inverse image means uh, if you are having a function like uh, uh, defined from set A to set B, and uh, in the set B you are taking uh, you are taking a small set, call it C, okay, a small set C, and you are trying to collect uh, all the element which has been mapped to C that we will call it inverse image of C. That means inverse image of C is under this map X is what? It is collection of all X from the inverse image of C. We define it is saying that it is collection of all element which has been mapped to it is collection of all element from domain which has been mapped to C. That means X of omega belongs to C. It belongs to C. So that is meaning of inverse image. Did you get meaning of inverse image? Did you get meaning of inverse image? It is not talking about invertibility of the function. It is talking about that you took a subset in the codomain and try to look for all those elements from the domain which are mapped to the give, taken set. Yes, C. So inverse image of C are all those omega which are mapped to C. Okay, that is the inverse image. So same concept is coming here. So you are taking any uh, subset B from real number. So remember that B is coming constructed by open interval. B is constructed by open interval. So, what is the inverse image of B under the map X? It is collection of all omega which is mapped, which are mapped to B. You can see the definition here. Inverse image of B is what? It is collection of all omega which are mapped to B. B is where? B is not in omega. Where is B? B in codomain R. X is a map from uh, omega to R. So B is in the codomain of R, in the codomain of X. So that it say. And uh, when you pulls back, that, th this one is one kind of pulls back. You pulling it back to domain. From the codomain, you pulling it back some a re region, sub region of uh, domain, uh, codomain to domain. So when you are pulling back the some uh, small region of codomain into domain, then definitely that would what? That would be a subset of omega. Where would be th this? Inverse image of B, where it would be? Where would be inverse image of B? It would be in the domain. This one is omega. Call it this one is omega. X is a map from omega to R. Omega to R. X is mapping from here to here. Okay omega to r. So, you here you have taken uh, b. Suppose in place of c, call it b. This one is b. 
within R you have taken B. Okay, so within R, so that's uh, so you pulls back it, this one. You can see it like that. This you can give a structure to it, this. This is what this a structure you call it. This is this structure. Okay. This is x inverse of b. That means it pulls back. Pulls, pulls back it to domain so that it say so definitely if it is where where x inverse of b it is in the omega if it is in the omega then what does it what what it would be it will be a possible event it would be event where does it lie event happens to be a subset of omega and that one is satisfying a what that one is satisfying a, a statement given a statement so event is what event is a subset of omega and satisfying an a statement same thing is uh, coming from this borel algebra picture that means satisfying a subset means it must be in the sigma algebra of omega in the last class in one of class i had told that what is meaning of subset of uh, uh, what is what is meaning what is the difference between subset of an omega and event event is a subset of omega and satisfying a statement so that complete thing you can say in short that event is a member in sigma algebra of omega so the long in mathematically in very abstract way uh, you, if you are saying uh, what is event event you are defining it is a subset of omega and satisfying an a statement that long thing you can write in short you can say that event is a member of sigma algebra just both are same both are same same thing here we are saying that you took a b from r and that one is satisfying a condition that inverse image of b happens to be an event it is defining an event so that it so if you are defining a special map x from omega to r such that it pulls back b to sigma algebra then we can say that x is a random variable. Are you getting meaning of random variable? Are you getting meaning of random variable through map or not? In the first case, in informal, I had told that it is just a uh, quantification process that uh, map omega to numbers, omega to numbers. So that in the second, I am saying that it is a, a map where it pulls back B kind of set to an event in sigma algebra pulls back if you take any any b what is b here b is a set in r set subset of real number which are constructed by which is constructed by open interval which is constructed by open interval okay like that and it pulls back to an event so that kind of things so all these longer uh, statement you can simply say they in in sense that uh, this one is a measurable set you can measure it you can measure it if it is a finite set then what is the measure you are counting cardinality how many numbers are there how many elements are there if it is in finite set like uh, if you are taking open interval a b what is the what is the measure of open interval it is the length of the set there you count count number of element in an open interval because there would be uncountable number of numbers there you can't count so there what is the measure measure would be length of the interval anyhow you have to come up with a finite number so that would be length so same kind so x is a function from omega to r such that uh, it introduces a measurable concept that it pulls back uh, every b to an event every b from borel set of r to one event so that is the definition of mathematical definition of uh, random variable uh, if you don't understand right now don't worry leave it later you will come to understand because in the example you will see very simple things okay in the examples this one so uh, i have covered all possible definition okay so here uh, in more concrete way you can say that 
as a system approach of in very short uh, whatever i have told all these all these can be summarized in this definition x is a map from omega to r remember that omega to r okay where every b is pulls back to sigma every b is pulls back to sigma every b pulls back to sigma how through inverse image process x inverse inverse pulls back to sigma and it is also associated with probability measure and in order to get probability distribution so next we are defining probability distribution of a random variable so what is probability distribution of a random variable in short you can say that probability distribution of a random variable it is a map uh, it is a map from b to 0 1 close interval 0 1 a small p a small p is a, means simply it is a probability it is dealing, dealing with probability so it is a map and it is what kind of map it is a composition map so you have already seen uh, tell me uh, x just you have seen instantly that x is a map from where to where x is a map from omega to r and uh, range of x also we put it here omega x it is a map from x to r and what was capital p what was capital p anyone may recall from module 1 what was capital p it is the probability measure what we had probability of an event that what was the uh, process to define probability measure capital p it is coming as capital p probability measure it is defined from what is the domain of probability measure what sigma omega nice not omega sigma omega that means a special subset of omega which are satisfying a statement uh, uh, some some statement it will satisfy so capital p is a map from sigma omega or sigma just write it that means sigma you are coming with respect to omega to where what is the codomain codomain would be r but what is the range of probability measure what is the range of probability measure 0 to 1 probability is always between 0 to 1 so it is just be a specific it is going from 0 to 1 okay and a small p you are calling it probability distribution okay and how you define it it is composition of p and inverse image of x inverse image of some uh, borel set from r some subset from r simply loosely you can say that but that subset happens to be coming from uh, open interval subset constructed by open interval so so it is a map it is a map from it is acting upon borel set that means constructed from open interval so it is acting upon so so that's why r and b is coming in together in order to say that we are not taking all possible subset of r we are taking a special subset which has been constructed by open interval so that kind of subset we are taking okay why because inverse image of those a special set would be event in omega not for in general it is not true in general okay so that's way so if you are taking a suppose a sub subset from b you call it a what does it mean don't focus on this focus on this here so this composition map p composition this one is sign for composition x inverse it is acting upon a so how composition is defined how composition is defined composition of f f and g how you will define f fog you call it fog or gof go in calculus you, you might have already seen how you define f f of g f of g f that composition of f and g here g is first acting upon argument what is argument what is argument 
element from the domain what you call argument so f of g acting upon acting upon x what does it mean it say that here g is first acting upon x and then f is acting upon where g of x so that's why you are writing it f of g of x this definition everyone might be aware of that composition function composition definition okay this definition in calculus you might have already seen so same thing here this composition p uh, composition of p and x inverse upon a it is defined as probability of x inverse inverse image of a probability measure probability measure of inverse image of a under x under x how you will read it probability measure a p is probability measure capital p and this you will re read it inverse image of a inverse image of a you are and you know that inverse image of a is an event in omega so probably omega event in omega and we are defining probability measure for an omega so that's way p of what is inverse image of a it is omega all those omega which has been mapped to a inverse image that which has been mapped to so p of a small this one is a small p or this one is capital p this a small p of a under x x is coming in suffix x is coming in suffix so a small p of a is actually what it is probability of uh, observing all those omega which are mapped to a a is in codomain r are you getting meaning of this okay so this small p we call it probability measure in a probability distribution we call it probability distribution so everyone might be aware of what is the range of probability distribution what is the range zero one, zero one fine now uh, tell me what is the uh, domain what is the domain of probability distribution what is the domain of probability distribution just think here i have already written here it is already written see at least see this one this is borel set of r that means a special set constructed by upper interval just remember that only okay a special set these are subset of real number we can't take all possible subset of real number only those subset which becomes a become an event in omega which become we are taking only those subset of r which become event in omega so that means and what kind of subset will become event in omega those which are coming from open interval generated by open interval in r so only those can be a event so little bit difficulty in understand so keep on writing and read it uh, one two and see the lectures then definitely you will understand it is and uh, if you don't understand then later you will understand uh, that one is not a very uh, concrete thing right now so we have defined random variable we have defined probability distribution but i haven't class classify there are two kind of random variables one is discrete another one is continuous when it is discrete when range of random variable is a discrete set what is meaning of discrete set when you are able to write that set in the form of a single sequence that is in simple meaning when you fail to write that uh, range of uh, random variable in a single sequence it falls in the category of continuous it, it falls in the uh, category of continuous continuous set range is a continuous set and hence the corresponding random variable would be a continuous random variable so that first we will see uh, discrete random variable and the corresponding probability distribution we will call it probability mass function okay or almost we have already finished time so i think uh, i will go for uh, that uh, problems you all have to solve it okay other things discrete random variable we will discuss in next lecture it is i have already